is the firm's methodology to driving innovation in the audit approach? You know, it, it's very important. And the thing that I, I see happening is, is that the, the technologies that are, a lot of them that are out there don't talk to each other and the technologies don't talk to the methodology. And the more they're integrated, the better off things will be. And because the methodology that the firms are using are, are, are designed off of a predominantly balance sheet orientation. There's no methodology out there that really talks about a data orientation. So any tools and technologies that has a data oriented methodology and then the underlying technology to support it, that's going to be a significant advantage for firms to marry those two up. And a technology that has those who already are starting to build and integrate uh, are going to be absolutely ahead of all the other technologies in the space. There's no doubt about it. But I think methodology is key because that's that's what they do. And, and one could argue that, I mean, I was I was involved with, at the AICPA's radar initiative. The radar initiative was the Rutgers Data Analytics Research Initiative, and I was executive director of that. And a lot of the people were saying, well, the audit standards don't really support data analytics. <clears throat> and, and my general viewpoint was <clears throat> that the audit standards will accommodate data analytics. They just don't aggressively say it's an, op it's an option to use. In other words, they don't promote it. The, the standards weren't the problem. But we as auditors always like to say what the problem is before we think about a solution, because then we don't have to think about a solution. And so it's not the standards, it's the methodology that's written to comply with the standards under the paradigm of a balance sheet orientation. The methodology, if it had a data orientation and a, and a real time orientation, or near near real time or continuous, those are going to be powerful, especially when it's overlaid with a technology that can actually avail itself of all the data and help uh, move it all around and, and help help with the number crunching. Because just guess what, technology and data, using technology to scan data and review it, technology doesn't get tired. Technology doesn't have fatigue. They don't get glossy eyed. Guess what? Scanning is a an acceptable approach within the audit standards. Scanning by a human is fraught with tremendous risk because of fatigue, because of lack of knowledge. You give me the technology, and I and I and we have the algorithm that does the scanning. It will be a hundred percent correct based on what the algorithm parameters are. The challenge will be is we have to have the knowledge to know what those algorithm parameters need to be. And the underlying AI, the artificial intelligence, will take all those parameters and learn from it and maybe offer some, some recommendations on how to tighten up those parameters. But technology and methodology that is a data orientation that really leverages the ability to, to avail itself all the data is going to be a home run. No, I, I I would concur, Al, and I think that what we've what we've experienced from some of the really early adopting firms that worked with us, and they have been for multiple years now, is that we've seen that when they use that traditional methodology, there's a there's a number of things they can do straight out of the gate that really achieve some quick wins for them. We've, we've touched on some of them already on this call, like journal entry testing, preliminary analytics is a really easy quick win of really yep. elevating that risk assessment phase, starts to get people into the data. There's a ton of things you can do to automate the existing audit approach, things like sampling, et cetera. But then you get so far into it, that then the next level, the, the really progressive techniques, like 
hey, can I can I analyze 100% of revenue transactions and really focus on anomalies? Can I really start to push the boat in terms of uh, using perhaps data analytics as, as a response to risk and a way of us really tailoring our, our approach? Those are the areas where firms then really struggle to get the existing methodology to evolve and, and adopt and embrace those techniques. And a lot of firms have shared with us that it's at that point that they realize that they almost need to rethink the audit methodology from the start. You know, they get so far into it that now, well, hang on, we're too far into the process now to just mm -hmm. drop another technique in or get something, you know, how do I replace this with something else? Well, you could replace it if you've done it a different way in the first place. And that's where we get a lot of firms then focused on, okay, let's get back to the fundamentals here. How do these numbers come together? How can we leverage the data? And before we get to the response to risk, how can we have really kind of honed and refined our approach so we're really executing on something very targeted at that point in time rather than a, you know, okay, day one, let's start now and tick this balance sheet effectively. That, that's certainly some of the experience we've seen, Al, from working with firms. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think that what, what we, we tend to do is we say, let's start with the end. What, did, what do we want this to look like at the end? In other words, at some point in time, in other words, the, the art of what's possible is always a challenge for an audit firm because they spend most of the time thinking of the art of what's impossible or not possible. And so if we start thinking about the art of what's possible, and I, and I basically say that I got a kind of a three-step process is we got a very current, the current state is very linear, right? We then need to be move, and as, a, as we move firms down the path, the next step is, is a data-driven path. And then it's really the data analytics and, and the whole powerful of power of data analytics and AI and all this stuff. And so if you just think about those in those three tranches, and, and if, if you think of the tools and technologies that build with that end in mind of a very heavy data analytics state, and you've got a firm that's still stuck in the current linear state, then it's going to be a, the technology is going to be a field of dreams because it's the best thing in the world, but no one's going to jump there because they don't get it. And so, so you have to take them on this path. So, like you said, little chunks at the time. Even if you don't change your whole methodology, change one or two steps on your audit program to change it from confirm balances or something like that, or start with the balance and 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 change it to a data driven step 